Hey there, students. I have uh, already started a tack here, but uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, first of all, as you are adding uh, items to your tack, uh, and you you start hovering over uh, your your items, you'll notice that stuff starts popping up. Uh, so it tack will uh, will cause everything to disappear unless you're hovering over that item. So when you're there, you'll notice uh, that there's some arrows. So you could actually rearrange your your items, your photos, and your text boxes, that sort of thing. Uh, you have a settings button, uh, which would cause you to, um, which is where you would go to resize your photos, uh, to edit, uh, or even to uh, to toss. Um, e even your scroll bars over here on the on the right side will will disappear until you're in the general area. So there's that scroll bar so that you can see all the options and as soon as you're out of that area it disappears. So just keep that in mind. Um, e even between items you can add uh, new items right between them. So if I wanted to add a photo right here I could click this plus sign and uh, you notice that it's not there. So if ever you're wanting to edit something, delete something, add something then just kind of go in that general area until you see something you like and then press on it, all right? Okay, I'm going to go to the bottom and I want to add a photo. And uh, in my class, there's two options. We either upload uh, photos that we have saved on our computer or we can copy the URL from uh, a website. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to Morgue File. I already have a photo that I, that I want, so I clicked on it in Morgue File and this uh, window popped open and down here you'll see two links it's actually the second one that we want and uh, if you notice if you if you hover over it you get the Mickey Mouse hand don't click on it right because that'll just open or send you to another place right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here I'm going to go over here until it changes and as soon as it changes now I'm going to highlight and copy. If I go too high, I get that. If I go too low, I get that. So you gotta stay right on the line and I'm gonna copy that. Now right here in front there's an extra space. We will have to delete that otherwise otherwise TAC will not go and find this photo. Alright, so I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna select from URL and in that space right there I'm going to paste that link. Let's remember that we do have an extra space right here so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to import. And here it comes. Easy peasy. All right, that's definitely the easy way to go instead of having to download a photo and then upload a photo. Uh, if you can find the URL and paste it in, you're definitely going to save yourself some time. All right, I'm going to done that. Uh, let's say, let me go back to the first point I made, which was the, um, the hidden settings button. And let's say I'm going to go back and edit because I forgot to add a caption. All right, in my class that was a big question is, is uh, once I done it, how do I go back and change my caption? Well, go back to the top of your photo and decide to edit. And it's that edit button that will allow you to come down and change your, your caption. All right, that's it for me. Have fun.